This is our Beach Boy model. This board is primarily made for nose riding and walking back and forth. Hello, I'm Tommy Tanaka. I've been shaping for TNC Surf for 20 plus years. On this board, the single fin board, but we wanted, I just wanted a big wide board that would paddle well. So we, I tried to keep the flow on the outline just smooth and full and round. So it would be, it would just be easy to catch waves and easy to turn. The flatter rocker is going to help it to paddle or it's going to glide more when you paddle it. It's a lot flatter through the front, which creates a, which helps it to paddle a lot easier. The low entry rocker is going to help it glide in the water. The tail, although, has a little bit of flip, so when you do get on the tail and you step on the tail, it's going to want to turn a little bit better. It's going to lift up the nose and help the board to pivot. Being a single fin, it's going to be more of a slidey, pivoty turn. It's not going to be that thrusting bottom turn. It's going to be a little bit slower in turning, but it's, it's going to be easy to get to the nose and easy to walk to the front. The rail design on this board has 50-50 rails in the middle which means it's extremely soft in the middle and that goes all the way through the nose and off the tip. And on the back, there's no edge like our high performance board. It's gonna be just soft all the way through. So on the, the Beach Boy board, there's no edge, just soft, soft, soft for the rails. It makes the board more forgiving and just really um, go through anything. It can go through chops or whatever without getting hung up. On this log type board, what's different from our high performance board is it's a little bit longer, it's a lot wider, it's a lot thicker, and the rocker is a lot flatter. Flotation is probably the best, if I had to say one word about this board, would be flotation. You can notice right off the bat that the tail's a lot wider. It primarily comes in a square tail. We can do them in round pin tails too, but for the most part, they come in square tails. And then the nose is a lot wider. I kept a little point at the nose just because I like the look of it. The nose is super full and it's very, there's a deep concave in the nose and that'll help slow the board down and become more stable when you're nose riding. So that's the um, point is to try to nose ride this thing as long as you can. And it's only in the front right here in the nose. The bottom is going to be roll in the middle and roll off the tail to help keep it loose. The extra width will help keep it very stable when you're walking it. And the wide nose will also help keep it very stable. This is for a smaller, smaller wave board. So I think like um, when the waves are really small, this is the board you want to ride. So if anything from chest to knee high, is, you can still take this thing out and have fun on it. I think this is one board that everybody should have in their garage because if you have somebody that comes in town that wants to learn how to surf, it's perfect for that. And for those small days when you're not going to take out your high performance board or a mid-length, this is perfect because you still get in the water, you still get some exercise, and you can still have a good time on it. Lee, I think this is a um, super good board for a beginner because of the width, it's going to help keep it stable. So you don't have to stand perfectly in the center of the board. You can kind of be off on your foot placement and it's still going to go through the wave nice and easy. The width and the thickness and the, the paddling on this board is amazing because you you're going to be able to catch anything on it. And if, when the more waves that you catch, the more fun you're going to have. And I mean, that's what we're all about. We're trying to have fun, right? Just small Waikiki will be fun. Get out there on those small days when normally you wouldn't go out and have a good time, you're going to have fun on this board. Doing the Beach Boy board was because of the influence on single fin surfing right now is huge and um, we just wanted to have a single fin in the market. We think that the that competitive surfing is kind of going towards a single fin. The kids nowadays love it and I, I don't want to get stuck in the past so we're trying to keep up with the times and the um, you see everybody out there is riding single fin logs and so we wanted to, to make some make one and I think um, this is our first spin-off on it and it came out pretty good. This board is primarily made for nose riding and walking back and forth. It comes in a square tail. We can do them in round pin tails too. The nose is super full and it's very, there's a deep concave in the nose. Bottom is going to be roll in the middle and roll off the tail. The extra width will help keep it very stable when you're walking it and the wide nose will also help keep it very stable. The low entry rocker is going to help it glide in the water. The tail although has a little bit of flip, it's going to lift up the nose and help the board to pivot. There's no edge, just soft, soft, soft for the rails. When the waves are really small, this is the board you want to ride. Chest to knee high, is, you can still take this thing out and have fun on it. I think this is a um, super good board for a beginner because of the width, it's going to help keep it stable. So you don't have to stand perfectly in the center of the board. You can kind of be off on your foot placement and it's still going to go through the wave nice and easy. Aloha, I'm Devin with TNC Surf. Join the TNC team by subscribing right here. And to get the highest quality surfboards and the best Hawaii style apparel and accessories, go to our website, tcsurf.com. Link in the description and live like this.